the key thing here is the air-cooled condenser. And so this is what replaced the water. Um, and the way this guy works is um, you're evaporating. So I got it running right now. I don't know if, if we can see, see it very well. Um, but all these guys are running. Maybe you can get a better view of it here. Um, and so each vessel is got a line um, and we're running up to the condenser. And there are individual coils in there inside of the shell that run into a collection manifold. And so we're draining it out there. And so this is completely air-cooled. Um, we've just got a filter here on the end, keep the coils clean um, with about, it's like an 1800 CFM. So it's sort of doing double duty. It's ventilating the room as well as cooling um, the alcohol and condensing it. Um, from there, uh, we're running down into our water removal system, the ethanol dehydration system. So this is another uh, CRC filters um, sells these guys. And this is, I've got the 25 pound capacity uh, column on this with 3A molecular sieve. And so no matter how dry you get your material prior to extraction, you're usually gonna get at least a few percent of moisture in it. And that collects in your alcohol over time. So what I like to do is I connect it directly up to my evaporation system. And this has got a downflow. Uh, it's all gravity, so we don't need any pumps or anything like that. Um, and it's, it's got an upflow through the column. And so you're giving your alcohol a long residency time inside that molecular sieve to capture the water um, and get it all out. And it, it, it's really efficient. Um, gets it down to just fractions of a percent just in a single pass. Um, from there, we just I've got a 55 gallon collection drum here uh, that's vented. And this again goes up to the shell of our condenser. And so we're venting everything outside, any vapors uh, just get shot outside. Um, and so that's, that's it, that's the uh, system. No chillers, uh, really inexpensive.